He was known around the world as the pregnant man, and now he's getting divorced. Next, you'll hear from Thomas Beatty and explain why the divorce is breaking down even more barriers than just a man having children. He was known worldwide as the pregnant man, and now Thomas Beatty is once again breaking boundaries by going through a divorce. Here's why this is groundbreaking. The Arizona Court of Appeals ruled this week that Beatty's marriage is valid in Arizona, even though it took place in Hawaii. The court ruled Beatty's marriage was not a same-sex union. Last year, his divorce request was denied after a family law judge ruled that Arizona's ban on same-sex marriages prevented the union from being recognized as valid. Beatty was born a woman, underwent reconstructive surgeries, including a double mastectomy and testosterone treatment to become a man. However, he retained his female reproductive organs and then went on to give birth to three children during his marriage. Thomas Beatty is here tonight with us along with his attorney David Canner. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Were you pleasantly surprised that in a conservative state like Arizona, which does not, as we know, recognize same-sex marriage, they agreed to grant the divorce? Yeah, that's a euphemism. I was floored. I was at work. I got the call. I was not expecting it at that time, but I am I'm elated, I'm exhausted, I'm a little concerned about the alimony issue, but yeah. <laughs> we'll settle that later. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this, David, was this a debate over what legally constitutes a man, or was this a debate over same-sex marriage or divorce in a state that doesn't recognize it? It's actually about what constitutes whether Thomas was a man. In Hawaii, he complied with the statute. In Arizona, it's actually a little bit easier because a simple letter versus a sworn affidavit from a doctor along with the surgery. And that's where the judge got caught up. So it's not about same-sex marriage. It's about transgender uh, uh, recognition. And, and you've become an expert in the law, too, so I'll ask you this. Am, am I right in saying that uh, had you gone through this surgery in Arizona, gone through the sex change surgery that you went through. It allows you in Arizona to change your birth certificate then. Would that also include a marriage license? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the laws here in Arizona are more liberal than those in Hawaii. So definitely, if I lived in this state and wanted the marriage, going through those channels, I would have gotten one. And how could this ruling today go on to become a landmark decision? Well, this is the first court of appeals ruling of any state since 1970, roughly over 40 years, that has acknowledged a transgender divorce. In fact, the one in New Jersey was questionable, but here uh, it said, nope, it is valid, valid marriage, valid divorce, and it doesn't matter that Thomas kept his reproductive organs and reproduced, it's irrelevant. A lot of water has gone under the bridge for you, Thomas. Yeah. How do you feel about your decision to go through the change? And with all that's happened, you went on the talk show circuit. Do you have any regrets at all? I, I wouldn't change a single thing about my life. I mean, I have these precious children that I have today. I'd go through it all over again just to have the family that I have. W would you have done the, the talk show circuit as the quote-unquote pregnant man? You know, that that's a strange animal on its own. It's like when when something happens and people are interested in it, the media throws themselves at you, and I felt like I needed to, to say something and be visible for those that are fighting for basic civil liberties. Well, congratulations on the uh, favorable decision on granting the divorce. We don't know, often congratulate people on getting a divorce. <laughs> I know, we need a divorce case, party. In this case, it probably <laughs> applies. Thank you both for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Lynn Sue.